and welcome to this intermediate uh, lesson. We are preparing the lesson number 2.3 and for this we need some additional data. We will start with the material that is obvious part of the lesson 2.2 which is layers of places, rivers and protected areas. But for the lesson 2.3 you will need buildings and roads. Therefore let's take a look back to the lesson number one i think that was somehow um preparing the exercise data if you look into the exercise data folder itself you will not find any roads layer for uh, so of all so we need to download the data and we will use two different plugins to do so first of all we will use the um map services plugin to visualize the OpenStreetMap data set. Therefore, go to Quick Map Services, which is somehow part here. And the list is quite long due to the fact that I've added additional layers and we will add the OSM standard uh, version. You might ask yourself, okay, how do I get those plugins for QGIS? And to be honest, it's quite simple. Once you have installed QGIS, you will find the plugins section up in above here and just open up the manage and install plugins. You can see here that I've already installed some of them, um, but I would like to install a new one, which is Quick OSM. You will also find, of course, Quick Map Services plugin. There it is, Quick Map Services. But as said, we will use Quick OSM to download OpenStreetMap data uh, for our project. Let's close this and let's open up the Quick OSM data set here. We are working in a region called Svelendam. There it is. I have never been there, but we will download building footprints for those areas. Therefore, let's go to key, which is building. We will use, we will query all the keys. So we are not interested only in hotel or house or whatsoever. We will use all the values in Svelendam. I think that's written. Well, let's use around Svelendam in an area of 10,000 meters. This is now the setup. We can have a look here at advanced. Well, we are not interested in points and lines, nor pull multi-line strings, due to the fact that we assume that a building has a polygonal structure. So, we will run the query. This takes some time, but he's already there creating the memory layer. And there it is. So let's close this for the moment. And there we are. We have all the buildings of Svelendam beautifully listed here. And if you deselect the layer to make it not visible, you can see that the greenish polygons fit perfectly to the ones view, uh, viewed in, on the base map. So the OpenStreetMap base map set. But you might have seen this little symbol. That means it is a temporary scratch layer. And if you follow the lesson number 2.1, it is said that those layers will be gone once you close QGIS. So what we will do, we will make this a permanent layer. Let's go here, say make permanent. And now we can decide which sort of format we would like to have. As we have dealt with shape files with the other layers, I um, propose to use Esri shapefile here as well. We will go to the file name. Let's have a look. Go to the exercise data. I will store it exactly where all the other layers are. So, save it as buildings. Go and save. We'll keep everything else as it is. So, this is now saved. We can remove that layer. And we can add them back again. So go to the browser. And there are the buildings. Now there we are. 
Once again, we will do the same thing with the roads. But with the roads, we will be we will take another approach. We will zoom out a little bit. We can use the zoom out functionality here and select an area which should be the guidance. Let's re disable the OSM standard. This is now the extent of all the other layers, right? So we can also have a look here on rivers. Zoom to layer. This is now the extent of the layers. What we will now do is we will extract all the streets. Therefore, we will go to highway, query all, but we will now use the layer extent of the layer rivers. Once again, we are not interested in polygons and points in this time. We're just interested in lines and line strings. And we will run the query once again. If you're not able to download the files in a given time, you should think about increasing the value of the time out here to, let's say, 100 seconds or something like that. So OSM has more time to react on your query. So two layers has been loaded. Let's close this one again. Have a look here. These are all the highways. And they look quite similar. So I cannot see a real difference between those two layers. Ah, to be quite honest, it is just this single line here. So let's keep this layer down below as the current state of the road segments. So go there once again and save that as highways. Okay. We'll remove those two layers. Okay. And add the highways. There we are. So once we have done this, we will add another layer, which is not to query all the attributes, but we will query just simple attributes. Therefore, we will go to natural. We are interested in we are interested in water areas not rivers but like seas and lakes and stuff like that so we'll go to waterway uh, natural sorry for that go to natural and we will query only water once again we will use Svelendam with a buffer of 10,000 no, no, maybe use the can delay extent of the roads layers to be in line. Okay, we'll only be interested in multiple lagoons. Run the query. No named area found. Okay, but we are interested in the layer extent of the layer highways. So go again. I do not understand what your problem is, so we will most likely close this down, open it up again, and select once again natural. Water with the layer extent of the highways layer. Disable those again. Well, it seems he had a little hiccup there, and there we are. Close this again, and now we have all the natural water, water areas here in a very uncommon yellow color. But once again, we will save it. But we will now use a different approach of saving, not by saying, well, I would like to make this permanent. I will say, save features as, which is more or less 
a similar approach. Um, we'll go here and say water. Oh no. Polygons. And um, the layer name, we will keep this blank. We'll use the same CRS, so the same coordinate reference system for this layer. And we will save all the attributes here. There's no conversion or no disabling at all. And um, yeah, so let's go on OK. Remove the natural water layer here. OK. And there we have it now, the new layer water polygons with the, which is a shape pole and in a still uncommon reddish color that's it for the moment now we should have everything that we will need for the next lesson which is lesson number 2.3 and it triggers on navigating the map canvas thanks again see you